What happened when the first Aboriginal senator from Victoria had to read the Oath of Allegiance? A little bit of controversy for this one. Senator Thorpe, please come to the table to make and subscribe the Affirmation of Allegiance. So um, just before we get to this, I actually saw this lady, Lydia Thorpe. She was on a Miriam Margulay's um, video, uh, an episode a few years back where Miriam was going around to see what the Aussie dream really is. And for someone like Lydia Thorpe, there is no Aust Australian dream because she doesn't believe there is an Australia. Not that it doesn't exist, but uh, it's not what the indigenous people, the First Nations people referred to it, I suppose. And uh, she doesn't believe in the white man coming and basically stealing the land. And I can sort of understand, you know, there was mass, mass genocide, basically, uh, because of the white man coming over. So let's see what she has to do here. Well, please recite the affirmation on the card handed to you. I, Sovereign Lydia Thorpe, do solemnly and sincerely affirm and declare that I will be faithful and I bear true allegiance to the colonising Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Senator Thorpe. I'm going to wait for quiet. Senator Thorpe, you are required to recite the oath as printed on the card, so please recite the oath. None of us like it. That's interesting. The person behind said none of us like it. Now, whether or not they meant none of, us, none of them like what she's done or that they agree with her, as in none of us like having to read this oath of allegiance. I'll get to my thoughts after it. Uh, Senator Thorpe. Senator Thorpe. Order. Oh, hang on. Are you, maybe, maybe they're saying that she has no respect. Maybe they're against her. Maybe they're saying they don't like what she's saying rather than uh, they don't like the oath of allegiance. Order. I, Lydia Thorpe, do solemnly and sincerely affirm and declare that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors her according heirs. to law. Uh, Senator Thorpe, please sign the test roll and Senator's roll. Well, so, so from what I know, I said about Lydia Thorpe, is she is very much against the queen and and the, the white the white man and woman coming over and taking her country uh that that's or their land because i know that the the indigenous people are, uh, find the land is sacred they you know they're one with the land do i agree with her i i do i do agree with her because you know one i've got no interest in doing a, an oath of allegiance what a load of nonsense you're lucky to be born where you are, in my opinion. I've said that before. Uh, I don't have... I'm not nationalistic or anything like that. I'm not like an American who, or a United States who, you know, you were so... You, I'm none of that. I don't care. I really don't care. I don't care about the Queen. I don't care if she's there or not. But I don't care about the royal family. That's complete nonsense. The fact that you would pledge allegiance to a royal person who is just born into a position without earning it. It's such a nonsense. I do agree with her. I completely agree with her because having an oath of allegiance, for starters, you can lie. It's like when you're in court, right? It's, it's, it's when you're in court and you've got to, um, you've got to, to say that you, uh, in, in, God's, in God's name or in, in, in whatever, in, do me a favour. Do me a favour. Get a grip. Well, then if you don't believe, if you're not religious, then you do it on... Uh, um, you have to solemnly, solemnly, solemnly swear and all that on, on something else, but it's nonsense. You, you, what, like, what is the point? Just because you're saying words doesn't necessarily mean you believe it and that that's what you think. Um, I think an oath of allegiance should be gone. What a load of rubbish. What a load of rubbish. I said, I'm very much on the side of actually, it's, it's, I said, you're lucky to be born where you are. We're all the same. Um, but if you look at it from Lydia Thorpe's perception 
her ancestors uh, living in what we now call as Australia basically had the Dutch and the British come over and almost wipe out the the indigenous people to that land. Um, so I can understand why she's got very much ill will. But what is a set being a senator? Sen- what is what is what has being a senator got to do with pledging allegiance to the queen? You are there for the people, the people of that country, not for the queen. You know, I know you're there to do the queen's job. Technically, um, that's that's why there is a government. But you are there for the people, really, aren't you? To help them. I completely agree with her. I completely understand why. Um, I instead. Rather than, rather than saying you must read the oath correctly, I would have said you don't need to read an oath. It's a tricky one, and, and it's a touchy subject, I'm sure. But I'm certainly on the lines of, of Lydia Thorpe, and, I, and yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm happy with what she did. My final point would be, though, is when do people move on? When, when do people move on and, and realise the past is the past? The people of today had no say in what was done 100, 200 years ago, you know? We didn't, no one had, you know, I can't be to blame for something my granddad did, you know? Uh, they have the same problem in, in Germany quite often, where young people in Germany feel like they've got some, they've got to take the blame for what happened in the world wars. But they don't, because it wasn't their fault, they had nothing to do with it. And so when when are people going to move on? That would be my only point to go against Lydia Thorpe here. Please let me know your opinions down below in the comments. It'll be really interesting to read. I do my best to read every comment. Um, be awesome to read what your thoughts are here. Do you agree with Lydia Thorpe or do you think she is completely out of order and yeah, should have done it properly? Let me know. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.